friends, we are in Target. I needed to just grab cat food and broccoli because I'm gonna make some soup today. Look what they have. Eggnog. I left Target. Uh, now I'm in Hobby Lobby's parking lot. I'm not gonna buy anything. I just really want to look at Christmas stuff. I've been seeing people put their Christmas tree up and I don't know. I feel like it's just gonna put me in a better mood. So we're gonna go in Hobby Lobby and we're gonna go look at all the beautiful Christmas stuff and kind of just scope out and see. I am gonna be putting a tree in my dining room this year, so I do wanna kinda of look at what uh, color schemes I got going on for this year, because I'm gonna to need to do a whole theme in my dining room. So let's head into Hobby Lobby and see what we can get some inspiration for. Okay, now I love these for my bedroom tree. Oh, so pretty. true. <laughs> so cute. Play my favorite song. I see a snowflake melt on the deck. I'm awful cold. Can you guess what my theme is going to be? Counting days until you're here. I've been waiting this whole year. Dear Christmas, Christmas, Christmas night. I know you may. Okay, I am all home, you guys. I am going to go ahead and show you everything that I got from Hobby Lobby and show you what my theme is going to be for my dining room Christmas tree. I'm so excited. I literally want to decorate and put up my tree now, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait a couple weeks. But I know the boys are going to be so excited when they come home and they see what theme I'm doing the dining room Christmas tree this year. They're going to be so, so excited. I did get some new Christmas jammies for me and the boys for this upcoming holiday season. We are so excited. To be honest, Lakin is going to be 10 and I've never bought any of us matching Christmas pajamas. Like, you know how everybody takes those cute family pictures under the tree and you got your Christmas jammies on. Usually we all have different pajamas. So this year I made it a mission to make sure that I get us a matching set so we can do that cute photo under the Christmas tree this year. So Pat Pat was ever so kind to send me and the boys some amazing Christmas pajamas for this upcoming holiday season. And you guys can also get you a matching set of pajamas this holiday season 
by using a code, links are down in the description box, where you can get 15% off of your purchase and get some nice cozy pajamas to get ready for this holiday season. So I did get two sets uh, for each of us. I got all of us a matching set and then each of us a separate Christmas set. So I'm really excited and it is giving me like all of the Christmas vibes, all the coziness. It makes me wanna make a glass of hot cocoa and just chill under a fire and just relax with the kids. I've already lit my fireplace. We've already made hot cocoa, but all we're missing is our Christmas pajamas and a Christmas tree. So the matching set that I got for us, I think is adorable. I really love the saying. I wanted to do something that was kind of more us, more fun. And since I'm doing a theme of like candy canes, what better way than to get this style so these are candy cane pajama bottoms and then it does come with the top so this is the bottom the cute candy canes on it and then the top i thought the top it i was like yep this is it this is the one we're getting <laughs> merry christmas you filthy animal so cute these are going to be perfect for Christmas pajamas. They're so soft and cozy. And what I really like is the material. You know how some material, it feels like it's gonna shrink when you dry it, but the quality and the material is so good. This is gonna hold up really good. And I don't know about you guys, but we wear Christmas pajamas. It doesn't matter what the theme is, whether it's Halloween, Christmas, a turkey, we wear pajamas all year round. It doesn't matter. We don't just pick pajamas just for that season. But I got us the matching set. This is the one for me. And then I got each of the boys that same matching set where it came with those cute candy cane bottoms. This one is Lake Ends. And then I got the top as well. So these were matching sets. And what I like is the price point is not a bad price. And then don't forget, you're going to get 15% off. So that's going to help you save some coins as well. And then Take It Samir each got their pair of matching jammies too. I'm so excited to take our pictures this year. To be honest, I've been thinking about do I want to do professional pictures again or do I just want to do like our own at home and do like a card and send out cards. I just feel like we've kind of drifted off from like the reality of just how things used to be. I know like growing up in like the 90s, early 2000s, Christmas cards and just all of these things I feel like we don't do anymore since social media. So I think this year we're going to do Christmas cards, which I to be honest, always do cards of the boys, but I only give it to like immediate family, like mom, brothers, siblings, things like that. But this year, I think I'm gonna mail them out. I'm gonna keep it old school. I'm gonna take it back in time. We're gonna take some cute Christmas pictures with our new jammies, and we're gonna put those on a Christmas card, and we're gonna bring it back to like it was growing up, where it really feels like Christmas. So then the next uh, sets that I got for each of the boys, I got this one for Tank. I thought this was so him. He's on like the sunglass kick where he's wearing sunglasses all the time. So it just says, have a holly jolly Christmas. And it's like a cool Santa with the shades on. And then I thought these bottoms were so cute. So it has a little Santa hats. I like the little legging piece right there. So soft and cozy. And then Samir, you know, he loves Paw Patrol and anything red. So I got him this cute, Paw Patrol one, it just says Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho. And I think that's Marshall, yeah. I think that's Marshall that's on it. And I liked the flannel check on there and then it has the matching bottoms that match the sleeves. I thought these were so cute. Then I got Lakin, this set, it has the flannel bottoms, just that buffalo check, the whites and black, and then the henna reds on the bottom. But this one, I thought this was adorable. It just says chilling with my snowmies, how cute just has the black sleeves. And then I liked how it had the red hint on the bottom. So soft and cozy. I did get him an extra set. It was just these red truck with candy canes and the Christmas tree bottoms. And then the top here with the candy canes and the red truck. You guys know I love me a red truck for Christmas. I feel like, you know it's Christmas time if there's like a red truck somewhere. <laughs> And then I got me a nightgown. I thought this was so cute. It just has Santa and hot cocoa mugs. I really love the detail of the neckline right here where it has the button. So if I want to unbutton it, I can, or if I can button it up just to feel more snug and cozy. I love a good nightgown, you guys. I love the sleeves. It is so soft. Literally, when I put this on, I legit just want to grab a cup of hot cocoa and just like curl up and watch a Christmas movie. It's so soft and cozy. Make sure you check out my description box down below. I will have a discount code. You can get 15% off of your purchase today.
you guessed it guys my theme this year for our christmas tree in the dining room is going to be gingerbread candyland theme i thought that this was going to be so fun and the boys are going to be over the moon when they see this so this is everything that i grabbed i really really loved the sign i've honestly have had my eye on the sign every year i don't know why i've never purchased it but i thought it was going to look adorable next to the tree and just the red and the whites it would pop out really nice and what i really liked about it is that it lights up it just does take batteries get it pressed here and it lights up so the boys will really love that and at night next to the tree once it's lit up it's going to look super cute uh to go i'm going to put that on one side of the tree and then i did get this super cute gingerbread man how freaking cute is he i wanted to be honest you guys saw that huge one I really wanted that one, but I didn't want to pay $25 because, you know, I'm on a strict budget here. Don't have a lot of money coming in right now, so I didn't want to overdo it. Who knows? Maybe I'll go back once I'm back working uh, after next week and I start getting some money flow back in. Maybe I'll go back and buy the, the really big one. But for now, I said I'm just going to do this, have this go on the other side of the tree. I just thought he was so cute. He had to come home with me. The candy cane. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. And then... I did get this big old box of ornaments. I figure this should be more than enough for the tree, hopefully. I mean, again, if I have to go back and get more stuff over time, I will. Legit, there were so many people in Hobby Lobby. That's why I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to because every aisle I turned, people were buying Christmas stuff. And I wasn't going to buy anything at first. You guys heard me at the beginning. I said I wasn't going to buy nothing. But when I was in there, I'm not kidding. Everybody had their carts loaded up with Christmas decor and like Christmas tree stuff. And a lot of this stuff was already like half gone. So I didn't even get as many ornaments as I wanted because there wasn't many options. So I did grab this. Everything was 50% off. So I said, you know, why not? I'm just going to do it. So this ended up only being like seven bucks. And this is a pack of... I don't know how many is in there. Uh, 50. So that should be hopefully more than enough. So I think it was like 750. I ended up paying for that, which is not a bad price for 50 ornaments when you think about it. And they're shatterproof with which kids and a cat. We can't have glass up in here. I did get a couple uh, different picks and fillers. So these were only, I think, a dollar each. I did get eight of these just to kind of fill in the tree some just to make it look nice. And then I got these super cute candy cane ones or peppermints. Yeah, these are actual peppermints. I thought these were adorable. These were $1.50 each. So I think I grabbed six of those just to kind of fill in. And then I got these. My tree is flocked. So I figured this would be a nice blending filler and have the pops of white. And then the candy cane, little peppermint swirls. So I grabbed, I think, five of those. I didn't get too many. These were a little bit more pricey. So these were two bucks each. Which, I mean, still honestly isn't bad. But, again, I couldn't spend that much money. Uh, I got these. These were 4 bucks each. I thought these were really cute. They had them in red, too. But I just didn't like the red. I felt like it was going to be just too much. I liked the way that these popped out. I liked the detail in these. And it kind of matched better. So, I did two boxes of those. The tree is going to go next to our fireplace in the dining room. So, I got these to actually go on the dining room. I thought this was super cute little gingerbread man i think this was 325 right yeah something like that <laughs> and then i got this one it's not christmas without cookies i thought that was super cute as well i know you're thinking like where's the gingerbread at for the you know tree it looks like it's just a peppermint tree well i got these garlands here i did two of them and guess what the girl only charged me for one so that was a win i was like oh thank you girl i mean they were all wrapped up and i wasn't gonna say nothing i know that's bad i should have been honest but hey it is what it is. But these are super cute. They were $7.50 per garland. So I just did two of them to wrap around the tree. I thought that would be really cute. Little cute gingerbread man. And then they didn't have many ornaments. That's what I mean. Everything was going. So I'm like, I got to get it. But these ornaments were $1.50 each. I wanted to do six of them, but all they had legit was just these. They had ones that had, um, what was it? like cookie spoon that like they're making cookies but I didn't really like those I felt like I didn't have anything else that had like baking combined into the tree so I just I really liked these ones more so they only had four of these I will I think I'm gonna go back in time and see if they have more but I did two of the girls they look like legit real cookies like don't these like I want to bite it 
<laughs> and then the little man. So I did two and two. Now see, these spoons were freaking adorable. These were only a dollar each. And they legit only had two of these left. So I was a little upset because I did want to add a little bit more. I liked it better like this. I didn't like them holding the spoon. I liked when I saw these. I'm like, that legit looks like a real, whoops, focus. This legit looks like a real like chocolate spoon where you stir up your hot cocoa. Don't I like the detail? Okay, Hobby Lobby. So I did two of those. And then I did get these cute little gingerbread cookie stars. Again, like look at that detail. It legit looks like a real cookie. So I did six of these. I thought that would be more than enough. I mean, we're gonna make it work. When we decorate the tree, it's gonna all come together. I know it might, hopefully this is enough filler, but if not, it is what it is. The thing is, you guys know I also add in ornaments that the kids make too. I always add that to my tree. So if this doesn't fill it up, I'm gonna still have like their cute little pictures and little ornaments that they've made over the years because that's a must. I don't care what my theme is for my tree or how much I like stick to one thing. That does not feel like Christmas without the Christmas ornaments that your kids made. That's just me. That's how I grew up. My mom always, she would do a theme, but she always put the ornaments that we made on the tree. And I'm continuing that with my kids as well. So I needed another tree skirt um, because I am going to be doing the tree next in my living room as well too. I did just get another tree this year, uh, this summer for the dining room. So I did need to get another tree skirt. This is a small one. It was only 10 bucks. Hopefully it should work. Uh, because again, this tree is just going to go in a corner. I didn't want a huge tree skirt. And if it doesn't work, the thing is I have a tree. You guys know, if you followed my channel last year, I decorated in my bedroom and I have a small tree. So if this doesn't work in here, I can use that because last year I did a blanket. So if I have to flip flop and put the blanket in this tree and put this actual around the little four foot tree I have, that's what I'll do. And then lastly, we have to go do a tree topper. So I did these peppermints. These were like $5.50 each. So I did two of that one and then a bigger one. And I figured that's exactly how I'm going to kind of pop it in the tree and maybe do some of that filler at the top. We'll see. Stay tuned in a couple weeks. I'll be sharing my um, Christmas decorate with me. I'll be doing a couple different videos because I have two, three trees actually to decorate. And then obviously like my living room and all of that. But this is everything. I'm so excited for our theme for this year. It's going to be so cute and keep it fun. You guys, your kids, they grow up so fast and I know we want to follow the trends and I know we want to do what everybody else is doing, but just stick to you. That's the biggest advice I can give is you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. If you don't like that, that's okay. If you love true traditional Christmas do true traditional Christmas, when I saw this, I was like, it's all about one thing and that's making my kids happy and their smiles it's not about keeping up and doing what everybody else is doing and having this perfect theme I know that this this is going to make my kids over the moon they're going to be thrilled to have this adorable tree and just to be able to be a part of decorating that's what's going to make my heart happy is just seeing them smile go ahead and get started on my soup it's almost one o'clock I want to get this started so it can be done about four hopefully so we're going to get that thrown in the crock pot <sighs> I'm hungry. I just realized I haven't ate anything at all. So I'm gonna throw that in and make me some lunch or something. So we're gonna throw this in the crock pot. I got some chicken broth, my broccoli, some cheese, cornstarch just to kind of make it thicken up, cream cheese and carrots. Only thing I'm missing is onions, which I don't have, which it is what it is. And then I have milk that I'm obviously gonna throw in. So we're gonna get this soup started. And I do have right here, this bread bowl that I'm gonna throw in the oven, I'm gonna put my soup in. Since we're um, using frozen, we're gonna put the crock pot on high. I'm gonna make sure I actually turn it on. I'm putting the whole bag and I'm gonna put it at the bottom of that. And then I have some garlic that I'm gonna add in. I'm just gonna do some minced garlic. a little flavor I got my carrot here you guys I'm gonna do this actually like that half make it easier I have don't judge me I don't have a real 
shredder. This one's not working out so good. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't even know where I got this thing from. I totally need to get a real cheese grater. This is kind of what I'm working with. Eat the rest of the carrot, but I got it shredded like that, so it's gonna cook down. Now I'm gonna add in my chicken broth, my seasonings, and my cornstarch. So I just added my cream cheese. I try to cut it up in pieces like that. This cream cheese is gonna make the soup creamier and cheesier. It just gives it a creamier, more flavorful taste. So I just cut it up like that and threw it in on top of the vegetables. Now I'm gonna get my chicken broth and do four cups, which should be this whole container. And then we're going to just take about, that much cornstarch and whisk it together. This is going to thicken up that um, soup batter, soup, mi soup batter, soup mixture. Seasoning salt, and then some garlic powder, some adobo, parsley, I'm going to add a little um, basil and Italian seasoning. Guys, I found some minced onions, so I'm going to add that in there since I don't have real. <laughs> I'm going to add mint, but I got Italian seasoning and some basil. And the minced onions. Then I'm just gonna pour my chicken broth in there. Just stir up a little bit. Put my lid on and let that cook. Soup's been cooking for almost two hours, so, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna stir it up. That looks delicious. See, it's cooking really nice. Yummy. I'm gonna just, all my cream cheese looks pretty much cooked down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this cook probably about another 30 minutes and then I'm going to add in my cheddar cheese and the milk and then I'm going to cook my bread bowl it smells amazing I wish you guys could smell it it smells so good Mia, are you ready for Santa to come mm. yeah I'll look. here I'm gonna help scary. for some reason I didn't Mama. come with the screw what it's so, scary. it's so scary you're ready for Santa huh we got like two months mom. and Santa will come. Mommy, mom. It's so pretty. Mom. What? Look, he runs. Oh my, what the? Does expire. Oh, creepy. Aww. Like all the Christmas stuff for the tree? Do you know what this is? Toys. What kind of cookie is that? Uh, girl. <laughs> Gingerbread. <laughs> You're right, it's a girl. <laughs> it's time to add in the cheese. I'm gonna um, add in a little mozzarella because you guys know Jojo loves cheese. So I'm gonna do a little mozzarella. I'm gonna add in this cheddar. Oh, it's cooking so good. It's gonna be so yummy. 
It's so creamy. Add in the cream cheese, you guys. The cream cheese is definitely a game changer. See, it's starting to get a little thick. Just to kind of <clears throat> not have it so thick because the cheese is going to make it, you know, pretty thick itself. And once this cooks down, if you need to add a little bit milk, go ahead if it starts to get too thick. But just like look at how creamy that soup is. Literally smells so good. Yum. So I'm going to let this cook for about 20 more minutes and then we'll be good to go. So I just took my bread out of the oven, so I'm gonna cut my hole. Ugh, I'm doing horrible with this. I'm trying to like not. What? This should not be this difficult to cut. A soup bowl. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Soup is done. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm ready to dive in and eat. Yum. Let's eat. I will have the recipe linked below for you guys if you guys are interested in checking out. I've made this a few times in the crack pot. It turns out yummy each time. Again, cream cheese is a game changer in this soup, I promise you. That's gonna sum up today's video, you guys. I'm devouring my soup. I just dove in and it's so delicious. Definitely try this recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, coming along, doing a little Christmas shopping and kind of just seeing what's in the stores. I'm so excited for Christmas season. And like I said, I'm so tempted to decorate, but I promise I'm gonna hold off a little bit just because I know if I was to decorate now, by like November 10th, I'd be ready to get rid of it. So I'm gonna hold off just a little bit longer, but I hope you enjoy just kind of seeing what's in the stores and seeing what my inspiration and themes are going to be for this year. Don't forget to check out the link down below if you're interested and in checking out Pat Pat's website and getting some adorable, super cute Christmas pajamas for you and your family. I will have a discount code linked below. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Oh, that's